Source hydro panels help address the large, ongoing global drinking water crisis. Source hydro panel can produce environmentally clean drinking water from sunlight and air. This technology was initially developed by the CEO of the company, Cody Friesen, at the University of Arizona. First, the hydro panel draws in the surrounding air using fans and collects water vapor from the air, which condenses onto a hygroscopic material capable of absorbing moisture. Under the influence of solar heat, the hydro panel converts the collected water vapor into liquid water, making it clean. The pure water is then mineralized with magnesium and calcium to achieve the ideal taste profile. Finally, sensors in each hydro panel monitor and optimize the water to maintain its quality. Hydro panels can store up to 10 liters of drinking water. The source technology is unique in that hydro panels operate with high efficiency, completely independent of infrastructure, and can extract water even in low humidity conditions. The high-speed electric sky capsule U-Car by U-Sky Transport is an environmentally friendly solution to the problem of road congestion. The capsule can reach speeds of up to 500 km per hour and transport people and cargo over long distances. Testing of this technology has already begun, and the four-passenger U-Car takes less than a minute to travel a 400-meter test track doing so smoothly and efficiently at a speed of 50 km per hour in the testing phase. Ultimately, the speed will increase to 500 km per hour. This alternative transportation system allows bypassing roads, is cost-effective, offers increased safety, and is not susceptible to accidents. The carbon footprint of these capsules is also lower than traditional train travel as emergency electric batteries are partially powered by renewable energy sources. The cargo version will be able to deliver 12-meter containers at high speeds, which can lift heavy cargo vehicles off the roads into the sky. The first of such road was launched in September this year, and developers are currently working on improving it. Volvo has developed innovative safety systems for trucks, the first system, Side Collision, is designed to detect cyclists or pedestrians in the truck's blind spot. It uses radar and a camera to alert the driver to the imminent risk of collision. Another feature is the new Door Opening Warning System. This system is designed to warn if a pedestrian, cyclist, or car is approaching the truck from behind on the side where the door is open. And finally, the Front Short Range Assist System, located at the front of the truck, is perhaps the most important. It alerts the driver if there is another road user in front and can even bring the truck to a stop. This is incredibly important for trucks with limited visibility, where pedestrians might go unnoticed. Volvo is doing everything possible to assist drivers and protect road users in busy urban areas. The SkySphere is a concept car that boldly combines two ideals, a comfortable Grand Tour and a more maneuverable sports car. This amazing car can be controlled by both a driver and a level 4 artificial intelligence. But that's not the coolest part. With the press of a virtual button using telescopic elements, the entire front of the SkySphere can expand or contract, transforming from an autonomous stable Grand Tour with a long wheelbase into a shorter, driver-focused roadster with an inch of height. Even the interior transforms. The steering wheel and pedals extend from the dashboard, the passenger seat slides back, and the driver's part of the dashboard moves forward to become the instrument panel. Yes, it's a real-life transformer. This electric rear-wheel drive convertible concept is the first of three Audi concepts that will appear in the coming months, and all of them will have the same sphere. NASA and SpaceX have begun collaborating on the creation of space stations using SpaceX Starship, and one of these stations will be called Vera. Vera is a space station in the shape of a torus, a closed cylinder, 
which scientists believe is one of the most efficient design options. The Vera station, with dimensions of 300 by 84 meters, can easily accommodate 1,000 guests and 200 crew members, with ample space for each. In the inner ring of the Vera station, there will be quarters for the crew, capsule and drone maintenance, as well as station control. At the same time, all other facilities such as recreation areas, cabins and more will be located in the larger ring. Unlike the International Space Station, which took 20 years to build, the Vera station is planned to be constructed in less than two years. So it's possible that we could soon become space tourists. Would you like to go on such a journey? Share your thoughts in the comments. Canvas, a company, has developed a robotic arm with sensors that automate the drywall finishing and plastering process. This four-wheeled robot, no larger than a kitchen stove, is equipped with laser scanners, sensors, and a robotic arm attached to a vertical platform. Thanks to these sensors and artificial intelligence, the robot scans unfinished walls and gets to work, smoothing the surface before applying an almost perfect layer of plaster. The device can pick up objects with its robotic arm and can even ask a human for assistance. The Canvas robot requires human supervision, but the operator doesn't need to be an experienced drywall expert or a robotics engineer. Learning the basics of control is sufficient. This can help companies complete more drywall-related tasks in less time and increase labor productivity compared to human labor. Over the past few months, Canvas has already tested the robot on several construction sites, and all tests have been successful. There's no better device for eSports players than the new universal gaming setup called Base. This unique system weighs 27 kilograms and includes a desktop computer, a 27-inch monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and a gaming desk all in one enclosure. The components are cleverly integrated into the desk for maximum mobility and convenience. Base measures 114 centimeters in width and 68 centimeters in depth. According to the developers, the installation process is quick and easy, taking about a minute. The design of BASE is aimed at its utility in team training sessions. Such a setup optimizes space utilization and simplifies the organization of training camps. The Quantix Recon drone is capable of taking off like a quadcopter and flying like an airplane. The drone is programmed using a special Android tablet controller. To launch the drone, you simply input the flight path you want to follow and then press the Fly button on the controller. Quantix continues to fly along the designated routes at the user's chosen altitude, collecting data using its color and multi-spectral sensors. After completing the mission, it lands vertically back at the takeoff point. However, if the flight needs to be canceled halfway, the user can simply press Land Now or Return Home. Such a drone combines the ease of launching a quadcopter with the speed of an airplane, making it incredibly convenient and capable of covering large distances quickly. Art Minute Sculptor Luke Kite has created a 12-foot gorilla from parts of a decommissioned car. This concept looks absolutely incredible and resembles the Transformers from the latest Robot Beast movie. This artwork titled Gorilla Apocalypse is crafted entirely from car bumpers and panels collected over the past decade. The sculpture highlights the critical decline in gorilla populations, as well as climate change issues, which in their view are exacerbated by car companies. The sculpture is on display in Oswetry, Shropshire, Pennsylvania, and visitors will have the opportunity to sign a petition urging the government to reduce harmful car production. Aquaculture company Nordlox is developing a giant ship-shaped fish farm that could revolutionize salmon farming in Norway. Have Farm 1 is a stationary platform moored approximately 5 kilometers southwest of Hatseloya Island. 
This 430 meter long farm can accommodate up to 10,000 tons of salmon at once. The steel structure extends over 30 meters below sea level and serves as the framework for six individual net pens with a diameter of 50 meters and a depth of 10 meters each. The platform can withstand waves up to 10 meters high and can be raised even further above the sea during rough weather. Half Farm is also equipped with thrusters that allow it to rotate around the mooring point at the bow. This enables it to expand the area for storing nutrient-rich waste generated from fish farming activities and reduces the strain on the mooring anchor. How do you like these inventions? If you enjoyed them, please like and subscribe to the channel. Finally, we'd like to mention that these are just some of the inventions we want to show you, so stay tuned. And you'll always be up to date with the latest technological developments.